welcome back. I know, I know, I know before you say it, Gina, where have you been? Right? Oh, everybody knows that I've moved, that we have moved. And right now, I'm sitting in our sunroom. I'm sitting in our sunroom. Uh, I'm so grateful <laughs> to be able to take a nice warm shower. I don't don't pay no attention to the hair. Please pay no attention. I don't have my hair products right now. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. But good morning. Welcome back. I'm extremely excited. We are completely moved out of our old house. Okay, completely moved out. There's not a single thing left in there and the new owners have moved in. Okay, so uh, I'm sitting in the sunroom and I just had a brilliant thought that I wanted to show you all our backyard. You know the backyard is important to us and we chose this home not just for the backyard, but the backyard has a lot to do with why we chose this home because we want a pool. We want a pool and uh, I will show you the backyard area and you can get an idea of where we're going to put the pool, where we're going to put, we're also going to put a deck back here that's going to extend off onto the pool. Okay, so what I show you, um, you'll see. So it's nice seeing you all again. The house right now is boxes and bags and bubble wrap and just bags everywhere. Like you, you can't even walk around. <laughs> you can't like, uh, here's the thing, I can show you what it looks like, right? But you're not really gonna be able to see what it looks like with all the bags, with all the luggage and the boxes and the bubble. It's, it's, it's stuff everywhere. You can't even walk around. Okay, so now also about the house, we have um, Saturday, we go to, uh, there's a company, it's a blind place. We go to pick out the fabric for our windows that we want. And they're going to put drapes in certain rooms. We got to pick out our fabric, what type of fabric we want. And then they'll place the um, curtains on what windows. They'll also place blinds on certain windows as well. Some of the windows already have blinds on them. Uh, so we have to go do that today. And then I think Saturday they're coming out to put the, the window treatments in. I've also had to call zoning um, for the city that we live in and let them know that we want to get a privacy fence. Okay, so we will have a privacy fence. Right now, the yard is completely fenced in, but it's not the type of fence that we want. We want a privacy fence. Um, and so when we called zoning, we had to put out put a whole application in and then uh, pay an application fee and then they give you a number and then we've already called the people that's going to install the um, privacy fence. So this is exciting. I, it could be Saturday that the people are coming out. Don't quote me, but I don't know. So I figure before we look at the backyard, Let's talk about all of the crazy shenanigans that the devil tries to put in place when you are running towards your blessing. Let's talk about the craziest thing that could have happened. You all uh, probably know that I told you all that Dakota wasn't feeling good. He just wasn't feeling good. And... We just thought he had a cold, you know. And then he really started to feel bad, okay? And as far as our movers, hold on guys. Sorry y'all, that was my husband. He was um, telling me that he's on his way here to bring some food and he was just saying how he loves this area more than the house that we just left. He's like, all the food places that you could ever want 
is out here, right? And, and I'm like, baby, I'm doing the video. Let me call you back. He's like, well, I'm on my way with the food. So that's how that just went. But let's get back to how the devil will try to steal your joy and how the devil will try to step in when you're heading towards your blessing. But I rebuke that devil in the name of Jesus. You hear me? Don't let him step in. Don't let that devil step in. You hear me? You are above that devil and you let the devil know that he has no authority over your household. You hear me? I'm so serious when I say that. So Dakota started getting real sick. There was a day that my husband had to stay at the other house because people were like going to be there early in the morning to do some work and um, like he had to be there and something else needed to be done, right? And like we're out of town. We're out of town from where we moved. We didn't stay in the same city. So he had to stay there. I'm here with the dogs in Dakota. God woke me up. And I, I felt something. I just, I felt, yeah, I felt like it was God. As a matter of fact, it was God. I got a strong thought in my head or I either heard the word pneumonia. This was 4.45 in the morning. And I woke up. It was like somebody woke me up. Okay? And I hear the word <clears throat> pneumonia. I seen the word. I heard the word. I felt the words. The word came through my head. Okay? How, however that goes. And uh, pneumonia. And I woke up and I thought, pneumonia? I said, he got pneumonia. When I said that, and I spoke, I said it out loud. When I said that, Dakota comes out his bedroom, looks in my room and says, Mom, I said, Dakota? He said, yeah. He said, you okay? And I said, yeah. I said, how you feeling? He wasn't feeling good. He was a hacking. He was coughing. He was in the bathroom. This was four or something in the morning. He went back to bed. And at eight in the morning, my husband, um, I could see on the ADT system at the other house that the people had came to do whatever work they needed to do, take down whatever system. Oh, it was the new water system. They was taking the water system down. I told my husband, I said, Dakota got pneumonia. My husband said, don't, don't say that. Why you say that? I said, baby, because God told me. I said, we take him to the emergency room. He said, we're taking him out of town? I said, I don't care what emergency room. Let's just take him to a children's hospital took him, did the blood work, did the x-ray and everything. He has pneumonia. He has not started at his new school yet. I told them that he'll start at his new school on Monday. They said after two days, he won't be contagious. I, I didn't know. Did any of y'all know that pneumonia could be contagious? They said it can be. There's certain different types. Some that's not and some that is, and they don't know what version he had. Okay, at least they didn't let me know. So I've been a nervous wreck sanitizing everything, mask, he's been wearing a mask. But they said after two days of taking the medicine, he will not be contagious. He's taking the medicine for three days now. Okay, so that happens, okay? And not only did that happen, that morning before my husband came, he was at the house packing at the, you know, at the other house. It was between eight and something where I had called my husband and there was no answer. He called me back like a half an hour later. He said, baby, you'll never believe what just happened. And I, I said, what? He said, I just fell. He was the only one in the house. He said, I had something in my hand, like a big tote. I said, did you pass out? Because... I said, did you pass out or something? He's like, I don't know, but all I can see is you and Dakota in the hospital, right? Maybe because I had just told him that Dakota had pneumonia. I, I don't know how the whole thing worked out. He said, but I saw a flash of you and Dakota in the hospital. He said, when I fell, all I knew, uh, all I had in my mind was you and Dakota. He said, 
he think that he slept on something. Well, the other day there was a sheet pan, like a cookie sheet, on the floor. He slept on it just a little, and then he kicked it out the way, so it was still on the floor. He slept on that. He said his leg went from under him, I think like his left leg. His left leg, he previously, when he was younger, he had an ACL replacement. He said, I was thankful I didn't hit that leg. He said, but that leg went out like this and I was doing the splits and I fell hard. So he fell on his right side. He busted up his elbow, his knee, and his right leg. His leg is swollen like this. He and I'm like, do you need to go to the hospital? He's like, we got to move. And I'm like, okay. So he walking around, eat, eat, eat. Every, every step that he take, every step that he walk, he in pain. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Now, the first day or two, we had our little cousin's uh, husband help us with moving. But then there was still some stuff at the house that we had to do. And it was just me and my husband in Dakota. And my husband uh, can't walk. He had some pain and his leg is swollen. I thought, oh my goodness. And those of you that are familiar with me, you know that I don't like driving. I, I know how to drive, but I, I kind of freak out on the road because I don't like driving. But if I have to drive, y'all know, I'll drive. We got this big U-Haul, this big truck. We got our truck in our car, in our car, and we gotta get the car out of town. We got the truck, somebody got dropped the U-Haul. I'm like, oh, but guess what? The good Lord made a way because I prayed and I have faith in God that things could happen. So I prayed over my husband. In Jesus' name, you're healed. And when you pray, you have to believe. You have to believe it, receive it, and retrieve it in the name of Jesus. And the person that you pray for has to believe it, receive it, and retrieve it. I pray for Dakota. Sickness, be gone. You know, take the sickness out of my son. I could cry right now, but I ain't going to cry. At least I think I ain't. <laughs> if my lips start doing like this, <laughs> then you know I'm about to cry. But uh, Dakota is doing well. Um, he's feeling better, just like they said. They, and he's taking two antibiotics. He's taking Zithromax, and he's taken, they call it a Z-Pack, and then he's taken uh, something else. I, I can't think of what the other thing is. Oh, amoxicillin. <clears throat> I had to tell them that he is allergic to Cipro, Ciprofloxin. So he's taken that. And he's feeling better, praise God, everything's on the up and up. So in between time, the house is in shambles. <laughs> what I mean by that, like I said, boxes galore. Normally I show you guys the house when it's empty and then we move in and then once everything gets set up, I show you. But the way things was going, it just couldn't happen. But you can't have everything perfect all the time. So we, we couldn't show it to you empty. Right? Because of all this other stuff. But, uh, so every night I've been icing my husband's leg, his knee, and his ankle. And his leg was busted up from the floor up. And I'm going to continue to pray over it. But I know that he is healed. And when we woke up this morning, his, the swelling, it was down. And that leg was looking good. And I said, how you feeling? I watched him walk out the door. He's like, I'm, I'm okay. He's like, I'm happy that the swelling is there. I'm like, how you feel? He's like, I'm okay. It's, it's a little bit of pain, but I'm good. I said, that's right, because you healed. Ask Dakota, how you feeling? He's like, I'm good. Right? So he's in his room getting his bedroom together. And, uh, but, when the just to let you know, when the devil tries to step in, don't let him. Because he has no authority. He has no authority. So the show must go on, and we had a successful move. We had a successful move. So uh, let's show you all the backyard, okay? And um, I'm, I'm going to be able to hopefully show you where the pool is going to go and show you where the deck will be placed and attached.
Here it is, guys. This is one of the biggest backyards we have ever had. And we've had some nice backyards. Over here, right there, they had a garden. We're not going to do a garden. So I'm going to have, we're going to have, a, what is it called? A company come out and just put the, the grass down for us. Okay, so there's that. There's some bushes right, oops, there's some bushes right here. You can see those, okay? That right there where you're looking at is in, in those trees right there. Those trees are gorgeous. We love those. Lots of privacy there. So you can see where the neighbor started a privacy fence, but they didn't finish it. So we're going to put privacy fence. And it's already fenced in, you may see. Look at the... Here's, here's the yard, y'all. The yard goes for days. Okay, hold on. There we go. And then it comes. We got our furniture over here in this area where you see that cement. That's where we're going to put our grill. There's like a perfect area for our grill to go back there. Okay. So... Let me come back a little further. Here it is. This is the backyard. So right here in this area, we're going to start a deck. Okay. It's going to be extended out this way. And then the pool goes right there. Okay. So we are super duper <coughs> excited. And we have a detached garage right there that's brand new and it is awesome so hopefully you all can see very well what we got going on and the neighbors are not close oh my goodness this is just like the best there's some areas where we need to put some grass seat down but we'll do that and there you go the backyard so back here in the sunroom where I'm currently sitting, we've decided to put a breakfast nook back here. Um, and we're also gonna put a TV. I, I don't know if that's supposed to be done Saturday, but I do know there's gonna be a gentleman coming to change one of the chandeliers. One of the chandeliers here is outdated and it's very, very low. So we gotta take it down and put another one up. So, uh, this breakfast nook, we, we have the furniture in here already that we purchased. And, and also, we're going to put an indoor-outdoor rug in here. Uh, because when we come in wet from the pool, you know, we'll have that rug in here on this, on this floor. So, currently, right now, outside, there's a truck that's filled up. We have another truck filled up. We're going to empty that truck out. And then hopefully I can give you a video. It's going to be with stuff all over the place, but I'm still going to give it to you. God bless. Good night.